Hi, this is Russell Stanoff from teachertrainingvideos.com. I do lots of training with Snagit, and most of the time, in the period of time that I've got to do the training, we just cover the basic uh, tools that are available in Snagit, but there are some really nice advanced features. So what this set of videos is gonna do is show you five of the key advanced features that are available in Snagit. Let's get going. So the first feature that I'm gonna look at is an image capture feature, and that is that we can do what we call scrolling window. So I'm gonna choose scrolling window, and what you're gonna see is that if I now click on capture, it suddenly asks me, where do you wanna scroll? I'm gonna click on this button, and now it's gonna to begin to actually image capture every single thing that's within that window, even though it's scrolling, and then it will immediately bring that into Snagit, or take a few moments to do that, and then it will be available in Snagit for me to view. And if I open up Snagit Editor now, here it is, the whole of the page being edited from beginning to end. Now you can see how big it is, it's 2,324 pixels, and of course I could uh, make that bigger if I wanted to, so we could actually see what it would look like actual size. We'd have to scroll it, but you can see you can image capture a whole area, uh, not just what you see on the screen, but even to scroll down and image capture an area below what is visible within the window and that can be very very useful if you want to image capture for example a really large picture or if you want to image capture a web page and then perhaps edit it or change it around this next feature i'm going to show you is a, a feature that i make very common use of and if you're in any kind of development of courses or websites then you'll find this feature really useful. Let's imagine, for example, that I want to have four or five pictures all of the same size because I'm going to use them in an animation or I'm going to use them uh, in a, a website or uh, in a course that I'm running and I want all the pictures to be equal. Then what we can do is we can actually preset snag it so that it will image capture a particular size. And not only that, we can even preset it so that that image is automatically captured in a particular um, uh, folder. So I'm going to demonstrate this idea first and then I'll show you how I do it. So let's imagine that I needed three or four pictures of myself for my own website and I've gone on to uh, Google and uh, I'm doing pictures of myself because I own the copyright to these pictures anyway. I'm simply going to click on image capture and I'm going to mark the area that I want to uh, capture as you can see it's automatically sized it for me so all I have to choose is exactly where I want to capture the image click on capture and it's automatically done there was no need for me to cut that out or decide the size it precisely uh, has done the image size that I want and that is 720 by 540 and now all I need to do is click on finish and that image will automatically be added into the particular folder that I've told it to uh, save in. And if I was to go to another image now and do exactly the same thing, so let's perhaps move through to a different image, this one here, again, open up Snagit, click on the preset image, again, it's gonna be exactly 540 by 720, I don't even have to worry about that, click on the button, and then immediately that image is brought into Snagit. And if I click on the button over here called Finish, that will now be added into the folder that I've designated. I'll do that one more time. Again, come through to another image. This one here will do fine. Click on this. Click on Image Capture. Again, it always image captures at precisely the size I want. Yes, happy with the image click on finish. Now let me just demo where all of those images have been saved. Remember, I didn't have to do that, it was automatically done for me. So just open up my images, go into the folder called 720, one, two, three images, all precisely the same size, all precisely saved in the right folder, and I didn't have to do that. That's the preset. Now let me show you actually how it works. So let's see if I can actually take you through that process. Let's imagine that I wanted to create a preset in other words, that it would always do exactly the same thing every time I use that preset. So I'm going to click on plus and I'm going to click on new preset and I'm going to say that I want you to capture an image and I want that image to always be a region and then I can say, well, how big do I want the region to be? Well, I always want it to be, for example, 400 by 300. 
So that's the first part of the region done. The second thing that I'm going to do is that once I've chosen that, I'm going to come back again and actually I'm going to come down to here and I'm going to say, well, I also want it to have an effect and I want it to always have a border. And again, I've got to edit that border. So I'm going to imagine that the border is going to be eight pixels thick and we'll do it in a nice clear color. So we'll do it in yellow. So every time I use this screen capture tool, it's going to do both uh, a fixed region with a border. And then I'm going to say I want it to automatically save that image straight into a file and which file and I'm going to say, well, I want it to use an automatic file name and I want you to add that image always into uh, my pictures. So let's come down here to pictures and then we're going to put it into Russell pictures. So I'm going to click here and then Russell individual and we're going to put it into this particular folder. So all of that will be done automatically. I'm going to save that preset and I'm going to just give that a name so I can click here and rename it. So I'm just going to call this image two or I might call it image 400 or image 300. It's going to be 400 pixels wide. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means now let's imagine that I needed to use that preset. I simply click on it. It will always always select an area of four by 300 and if I click it will always produce the image with a border automatically I don't have to do anything and if I finish by clicking on this button it will automatically add that image into the file location that I've designated so let me just repeat that by grabbing another image so if we took this image here for example same thing again I don't have to do anything I simply choose the image capture uh, preset I click the area that I want to image capture the borders automatically added the image is always the exact size I click on finish and I don't even have to worry I know that has been saved in the location that I have designated that is a huge huge time saver if you're working on developing a website or you're working on developing a profile and you want to use consistent size pictures with particular effects that's a great uh, tool to make use of this is a great feature in Snagit. Uh, if you click here and choose grab text, what it does is it will grab the text from an image or for example, from something that you're not able to copy like a PDF file and convert it into editable text that you can then work with and then add into a Word file or into a website, etc. So let me give an example here with a PDF file that I've got. So I'm going to click on grab text. I'm going to make sure I'm on image and I'm going to actually grab the text from this PDF file. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of text just for the sake of time. So let's say, for example, I just grab this part here. And now what's going to happen is, and it will take a while for this to happen, is it's going to process that text and bring it into Snagit. And you can see, in fact, that it's done it very, very quickly. Uh, here is the original image and here is the text now editable. So I could now copy that text and paste that anywhere. So this ability to grab text from an image and convert it into text that you can then work with. So I could copy that, for example, now and add that into a Word file. And that is such a useful uh, way of grabbing snippets of information from images or from PDF files or from anything where really you can't normally copy. Uh, a great feature in Snagit. The next advanced feature I'm going to show you, I'm just going to click on this and bring this back to region. Uh, so we're not going to be using any of the presets this time. We're just going to come back and uh, mark an area on the screen. So that will do back onto region. Click on image, click on capture, and we're going to mark out an area here. So we're going to capture this area here. Okay. So this time, once we capture that area, we're bringing that now into the editor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the selection tool and I'm going to mark these images here or this text. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here and click on auto fill. And what's going to happen is if I use that and now click 
right click and cut the image. It's going to cut that out, but fill it for me. It won't actually just create a hole in the image. Rather, it will cut an object off the screen and fill it with the background color. Just to show you that again, and there are probably a couple of other ways of doing this, but the way I always do it is like this. So I'm going to select, select for example, uh, the Facebook uh, image. I've used the selection tool. I'm on auto fill. I'm going to right click and click on cut. It's going to cut that image out, but it's going to replace it with the background color and that way the image will actually be completely well will, will disappear off the screen uh, can be very useful if you want to for example do something where you want to suggest changes to the layout of a screen and maybe you want to take certain things out or even you want to see how it looks um, then that can be a very very useful tool to use now I must confess that this next trick that I'm going to show you with Snagit um, I didn't even realize until a little while ago you could actually do this, but this is very clever. Uh, I'm going to basically choose a region. So we're going to choose a, a region and I'm going to capture, for example, these three images. And obviously that is one object. That is, it's just a picture and it's the LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitter. However, if I come up to move and then I turn on smart move, Snagit will attempt to recognize that there are actually three objects here and I can see that it's managed to do that and so now it's divided in fact at the moment it's too much detail so I'm going to reduce the amount of detail because all I'm looking for is really its ability to realize that there are three objects here and if I now move that you can see that I can move that and it will fill the area in and I can do the same here. In other words, it has the ability to take an image and then break it down and recognize the constituent parts in that particular image. That can be very powerful. Again, if you were thinking of, say, in a design situation, showing people how you wanted to move and change things around so you looked at them in a slightly different position, or if you wanted to, for example, work with an image but you didn't want to have, say, all three here and you wanted to delete one where I could click on it and just simply delete that from the image. Uh, as I said, this is quite a new technology or new feature for me to discover, but I can definitely see that there will be times when I would want to use this, particularly when I'm working in the design of websites or the design of courses, etc. Okay, that's Russell Stanner from teachertrainingvideos.com and that was a training video on the advanced features in Snagit, including one feature that even I hadn't used myself. Um, please come to teachertrainingvideos.com. Lots more free help videos that you can access, particularly on using Snagit. You can sign up to the newsletter if you want to keep up with the latest videos, any webinars that I'm running, any short courses that I run. Uh, then please sign up to the newsletter. If you're not interested, just click here. There is a whole section on Snagit here if you want to find out more about using Snagit. A very popular section also is Russell's top 12 videos. And you'll see that actually Snagit is currently the most popular technology on the website. Uh, if you choose any of the videos and you think you want to watch them, just click on the video. And then remember that you can always watch the videos full screen. Another section on the website that's very popular is Russell's five minute blog because it's just very quick videos five minutes long showing you key technologies that you might want to use and if you really want to follow the work that I do then please follow me on YouTube because I add lots of videos onto YouTube that you won't find on the website.